guys, welcome to Lorley's Plastic Kitchen. I'm Lorley, so come on in. Hey guys, welcome to Lorley's Plastic Kitchen. And today in my kitchen, I'm gonna be making my pizza dough. So come on in so I can show you what you're gonna need for this pizza dough recipe. Right here you're gonna have one and a half cups of warm water. You're also gonna need some yeast, some olive oil. I have extra virgin olive oil right here. Some salt. You're gonna also need some sugar. And the last ingredient you're gonna need is your flour. Now this recipe, you can um, do it in a bowl. I have done it both ways in my KitchenAid mixer or a bowl. And just it's just extra work on your arms when you're gonna be kneading that um, dough. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to this warm water right here. First, you wanna make sure your water is not too scalding hot because it will kill the yeast. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one fourth cup of sugar and I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of that and just kind of stick it in the water so it can activate the yeast when I add it to it. So now I'm gonna take a teaspoon and a half of yeast and I'm gonna place it in there like this. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna mix it. You're gonna leave it and let it do its own magic on its own, cause it's gonna start to foam up and rise a little bit in there. And that's what you wanna make sure you do first so you can make sure your yeast is activated before you use any of your other ingredients. So now we're just gonna watch this little baby rise. Alrighty now, it's been five minutes of the yeast that was rising with your water. Now the next step, what you're gonna wanna do is, if you don't have a mixer, like I said, just get a separate regular bowl and do this in the regular bowl. The only part that you're gonna do with your without the mixer part is kneading with your hand. And if you want me to show you a separate video on how I knead the dough with my hand, um, go ahead and comment down below. So that way I can make another video on that. But for now, I'm just gonna do it with the mixer. And I'm gonna take four to five cups of flour and I'm gonna put it in the mixing bowl. Now, the reason why I say four to five, it just depends on the day, because sometimes, um, you know, it's temperamental with the weather, so. <laughs> but I'm gonna start off with four cups. So I'm gonna place four cups in the bowl. Now that I placed um, four cups in here, I'm gonna take one and a half teaspoons of salt as well. And I'm gonna place that in there. Just like this. And also to the rest of the ingredients, I'm taking my one fourth cup of um, olive oil and I'm gonna place that inside the bowl as well. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on just to get it mixed up. So the dough looks um, a little beady, kind of like you have little beads, kind of like when you're making tortillas or things of that sort. You just want it incorporated a little bit within the mixer. And if you don't have the mixer, what I do is I end up mixing it with my hands until I get that beady consistency on there. But right now we're just using our mixer and I'm just gonna go ahead and let it mix at this point. Now just make sure you um, scrape your sides of your bowl. 
You don't want any of the ingredients not to get incorporated into it. Okay, now it looks like it's all beat it up. Now this recipe is really easy. That's why I decided to do this recipe because I wanted an easy pizza dough recipe, but also a great one. So you see how the consistency is in the bowl? It's kind of a little beady with the um, oil and the flour together. Now, also I'm gonna take my one fourth cup of sugar and add that in and just give it a quick mix just to make sure it's incorporated. Just like that. Sorry for the loud machine, but this was my Nana's machine and it was passed down, so excuse the loud noise, but it's still going and I appreciate it. Cause I don't have to mix it with my hand or knead it with my hand right now. Okay, that's good. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is just add this um, yeast and water mixture into our dough. And then we're gonna check the consistency. That's why I said four to five cups of flour depending on the weather or the day and see how it goes. So I sped up my machine a little bit. And I'm gonna pull my dough from the side my ingredients that are stuck to the side and kind of help that machine. Now it looks like four cups today is gonna be perfect for it. So just, I'll check the texture once it's all mixed up and then I'll let you know for sure. Okay, it looks like the four um, cups of flour is gonna be enough because it's still a little sticky but not too tacky and now I'm just gonna knead this for five minutes on the machine and like I said if you don't have the machine just knead it with your hands so now let's get to this kneading part now that you're done kneading your dough this is how you're gonna want it you're gonna want it tacky but not um, too sticky I said depending on your weather um, four to five cups start off with four and if you feel that it's um, a little too wet to where it's not it's tacky but overly tacky where you can't get it off your hands and you're gonna want to add a little more flour but add it a little at a time the extra cup if you need to but see how that doesn't stick to me but it's nice and tacky still now I'm just gonna tuck it under and roll it into kind of make it a, a ball on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take some olive oil. I'm also gonna add maybe about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of olive oil on the bottom. And I just take it, roll the ball upside down, and then flip it. That way, um, it can not stick to the sides when it rises. So I'm gonna leave it and let it just do its thing in the microwave for about two hours. This is the only part that takes the majority of your time is just waiting. But everything else is pretty much easy and you know, you guys can do that while well, maybe you go to the store or something like that. But now I'm just gonna put my towel over it and put it in the microwave. And once the two hours is done, I'll go ahead and show you how it rises and the next step to that. Okay, it's been two hours that um, our dough was rising. See how the air in it was? Now I'm gonna take it out of my bowl and just flour a little bit of the surface. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up, um, if you wanna make it like two medium sized pizzas, this would be good for it, this dough. Or if you wanna make like four to five small mini pizzas, which probably we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and I just need to get my cutter. Now that I cut it and I separated it into five dough balls, this one, see, I'll show you. This is without 
letting it rest from your gluten because I made the balls. But you could still roll it out right away if you want to. The gluten's just gonna be harder. I'm gonna let it sit for maybe about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna roll out all our little pizzas. That way the gluten has time to relax a little bit. And in the meantime, I set my oven to 400 degrees. So that way when my dough is ready to put in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And also you can put whatever toppings you want on your pizzas. I just cut up these toppings. Okay, back here I have my pizza sauce that I had made. And it's a homemade sauce. And if you would like this delicious recipe, go ahead and go to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be putting up that video as well for it. So you'll have my pizza dough and my sauce. But until I let this dough rest, I'm gonna cover it with the same cloth that I had it covered with. And I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Okay, now I'm with my youngest baby boy, Christian. You wanna say hi to everybody? Uh, hi. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna roll out his personal pizza right here. Now go ahead and roll that out. And what I'm gonna do while he's rolling that out, I'm gonna take some of this um, cornmeal, cause I like to put some cornmeal on the pan that you're gonna be using. And that just gives it a little extra, you know, special touch to the bottom of it. Like when you go to the pizza places. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, you're doing a good job rolling that, Chris. See how the gluten is um, rested now? That should be good. Now we'll put it on. You want little ends on it? Get the sauce and everything, everything that you want on it. Okay, now we're gonna add the sauce to it. If you want to put sides to your pizza dough, you can go ahead and either, you know, put the sides up or whatever you want. However you like your pizza. If you like it more flatter, roll it out more. But we kind of like the little edges on it. So now he's going to put all his yummy stuff on it. Our pizzas, we plated them, and this is Christian's pizza, and this is my mom's pizza, but she's too camera shy to even try to, look at that. Look at the dough, you guys, and look at the sauce and all that yummy goodness on there. Now Christian's gonna eat some on film for you. Tell me what you think. Oh, he loves it already. He's just Good. The dough is soft. The dough is soft. The edges are crispy. See that? So if you want a great um, pizza recipe, go ahead and try this recipe. And if you want my sauce recipe, both of those are going to be separate videos. So until next time on Lorley's Classic Kitchen, where I'll welcome you into my home. Have a blessed day and I'll be seeing you guys soon.